Hi Cancer, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your bonus Valentine's Day love reading. Um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements, okay? Um, and if I happen to say he or she regarding a picture on a card, there is no gender in tarot, so apply it as you may. Um, Cancer, I'm doing your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to swap energy, um, even if it's one or two things or if it's the whole side. Feel free to swap it. It is a general read, okay? Um, announcement real quick. I am doing a Valentine's Day giveaway, all right? So three people will be picked for a free 30-minute love reading similar to this, but honing in, honing in um, closely on your energy and your person's, okay? So in order to enter for that, you have to do three things. Yes, all three. <laughs> Just like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your name below. Um, if you're not comfortable commenting your name, you can always shoot me an email, okay? That information is in the description box, all right? So, Cancer, I was um, meditating on your energy as the collective, and I was hearing that song by, um, I think it's Pharrell Williams, but, because I'm happy, clap along if you feel that song. Um, I feel like maybe you guys are coming into a really happy, harmonious time. Maybe you met someone um, that makes you happy, or maybe you're just in that energy of being happy. Um, or your relationship is going good, things are just going good, you're feeling light, happy, you know, just feeling that energy for you guys, all right? Um, so let's see, we have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life, so maybe you're happy because you just freed yourself from something, all right, um, maybe you were feeling tied down, um, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, this could be you, it could be someone you're dealing with, or this is just like a healing energy overall. All right, it doesn't necessarily have to be with your parents. Maybe it is for some of you, um, but maybe you're, you're just feeling free. All right, and then we have let your friends help you. Um, ask for and accept support from others. Um, it's always good to have people to lean on. I always caution with that card, though. Um, make sure whoever it is that you are seeking advice from or leaning on um, doesn't hold any judgments. Like if it, you just went through a breakup and you're talking to them about, you know, your person or whatever, and then you mend things with your person and, <laughs> you know, they hold a judgment or whatever. So just make sure it's someone who you can trust and someone who, you know, doesn't hold a grudge or anything like that. Um, they they do have your best interests at heart, though. You know, so can't always blame them. Um, side note: It is Mercury retrograde right now, so return of the X. Um, I'm hoping not to get too much into it, but it seems like there's just a lot of that going around. So let's see what's going on for you. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right, bottom of the deck. Also, with the Mercury retrograde, I am messing up a lot of my words. So if I do, just go with it, okay? <laughs> it's been driving me bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers. All right, let's see. Overall energy, angel of love, fourth chakra healing. All right, so that's your heart. You're healing your heart, possibly, or opening up your heart chakra. Um, feeling happy. There you go. Emotionally happy. What's your person's overall energy? Rest and rejuvenate. This is too many, but I mean, I'll take them. Caring connections and contract. All right. So your person may be leading on their friends or maybe this connection is a friend that, you know, maybe you guys are realizing that it's more than just being friends for some of you. Um, I feel like your person is healing something, okay? Rest and rejuvenation. This is like the Four of Swords energy healing, okay? Um, maybe working on opening up their heart chakra or their heart space. Something to do with a contract, possibly. Um, maybe they're releasing themselves from a marriage, um, you know, disconnecting from someone from the past, something that there's a contract with. Or they're trying to balance things out with you. Um, you know, to make it like a more stable, caring connection here. So let's see, I keep getting in. Yeah, there could be some doors opening for you or for this relationship. 
All right, what else do we got for cancer? Thank you. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. All right, so maybe there was some criticizing going on or um, kind of like tit for tat or bickering or, you know, um, so they're saying stop, do that. stop doing that and maybe things will start to transform. All right, so let's see. Cancer's energy, what's going on for Cancer? Oh, well, it's you showing up to your own show, the chariot. So seeing things moving forward, maybe there was a decision you had to make and you chose a lane, a path. Um, and you, you're feeling satisfied and happy about that. Let's see. Knight of Wands could have been with a Sagittarius um, or a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is like fast moving, passionate energy. So I feel like right now you're in like the energy of moving forward. Um, could be moving residence or, you know, houses or something about that, you know, your home. Um, could be <clears throat> traveling. Um, just movement forward, all right? Maybe you're moving towards someone you feel passionate about. Um, that's also like a side note player card. <laughs> so maybe you're just enjoying single life right now. For some of you, let's keep going. Cancer. Right. Knight of Cups. Ooh, Pisces energy, all right? Um, so now we have two knights. So maybe you're moving towards someone, someone's moving towards you. This could be you right here. You have someone that's like making a romantic gesture to you, someone who has emotions for you, um, or you, them, you know. You find this person very attractive. Wow, Knight of Swords, like crazy. Gemini energy, very fast moving. These are all movement cards. What, do you have a lot to choose from here, uh, Cancer? Is that why you're so happy? <laughs> You have to make a decision. Yep. Virgo energy here, the hermit. So maybe you have a lot of options. You have a lot of options. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Oh, boy. All right. What does your person have in their energy? What's going on with Cancer's person? The Emperor, Aries energy. All right, you could work with this person. Um, don't have to. They could be like your boss or they're just like a boss of a company. They're a CEO high up somewhere. They work hard. Um, Ten of Cups. So it could be a fire sign that you are dealing with, but it doesn't have to be for all of you. Um, what else? So your person's really happy or they see you as like... Uh, Happiness, family, they might be feeling left out in the cold, though. Why? Mm, did you walk away from them? Did they walk away from you? There's Scorpio energy here, death, rebirth, transformation. I'm getting maybe, maybe you walked away to reflect and do some like inner work and have a transformation or this person walked away from you to have some kind of transformation you may feel like they left you out in the cold or they feel left out in the cold i gotta get more of the story here to see what's going on but there was some kind of walking away there was some kind of ending here Maybe this person just saw you as the Ten of Cups, but maybe you weren't like ready to commit to this one person just yet. Maybe you wanted to keep your options open because you weren't too sure. Yeah, they may have ghosted you or you them. Let's see. All right, what were blockages or external influences for Cancer? Strength Leo card. So... Maybe someone was scared because this is a this is a re, kind of like a, the reverse effect. What else for blockages, external influences for cancer? Death card, rebirth, transformation.
So maybe, maybe I'm getting, I'm getting some, some of you, not all, might have been scared of committing, settling down with one person because you had options and it caused an ending here or it wasn't allowing this connection to like transform into something like growth. Because your person, I think, is feeling left out. Maybe they felt like they had no choice but to walk away. Let me keep going here. What other blockages for cancer? External influences. The world, yeah. An ending. Maybe it was like you guys kept having like false starts. Maybe... You were more like on the emotional side. Maybe this person was more on like the passionate side. Like you wanted a deeper connection and they just wanted like passion or vice versa. So it was like a false start all the time. Like look, free yourself and the world. It's like being stuck in a cycle. Like you're freeing yourself from cycles. <clears throat> what else for cancer? Blockages. That emperor again. Queen of Swords. So an air sign could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or Aries with the emperor. So they, they are coming off as the emperor. And a blockage for you is the emperor. And the Queen of Swords. So maybe like just a truth came out or cutting out anything that no longer serves you. Just... Maybe I feel like you cut off communication with this person. Um, this person may, for some of you, not all, and if you're cross-watching, don't take this the wrong way. If it doesn't resonate, it's just not for you, okay? It's just a, a message for some. This person um, could be a little bit controlling, all right? A little bit controlling, where I feel like maybe you were just like... I want to be happy. I don't want to feel stuck, tied down. I'm not, I don't want that, you know? Like maybe they're like going through your phone or the who, what, when, where, why, how, who are you going to be with, when are you coming home, that kind of thing. Let's see, what was a blockage for your person? Uh, yeah, they could have been manipulative or had a block in manifesting, like a, a family atmosphere. So they have the Ten of Cups, and now they have the Four of Wands, which is like 11-11, Twin Flame, um, next level of relationship, like a higher level of commitment. So there's like a block here. Could be from your part that they were just trying really hard to have that with you, and maybe you just didn't weren't feeling it with them. There could have been a lot of arguments going on between you guys or some kind of blocking of energy. Like maybe this person, for some of you, maybe this person was, um, or felt like you were getting a lot of attention and they had to constantly like compete for your attention or vice versa, all right? Or like they just felt like they had to keep blocking something. Could be a control thing. I don't know. There could be like manipulation going on. What else blockage? Well, that's not good for a blockage. They could be watching you. Um, but here, now we have the strength. You both have the strength for a blockage. This could be fear on both ends. Like, from your side and their side, like, some kind of fear or not having the strength to continue in this connection. Ace of Wands. So, there is, like, no... Like I said, there's, like, the passion and the emotions coming through. You could really be dealing with a fire sign. But it's, like, a blockage in, like... 
compassion and love. It could have felt like this kind of like went stagnant. Like it was just getting like boring or this just wasn't moving to the next level. It wasn't going anywhere. There was like blockages. This person could be watching you or you them. Um, you could get a message from this person, a small message. Maybe some truth came out. Um, there could be an age difference between the two of you for some. Yeah, like blockage, look, blockage. Arguing, too many people involved, not manifesting, healing. Yeah, and now look. Hmm. I'm not getting like third party stuff just yet. I'm getting like... Like it just wasn't moving, it wasn't, or you guys were like on different energies, different alignment, like one's vibrating up here, one's down here. It wasn't, it wasn't matching energies. It's causing some like, be, someone to be like on defense. All right, let's see. How do you general, genuinely feel towards this person, Cancer? I mean, you might want to work on this or you see this is where like maybe there's too many people involved. Maybe someone wasn't putting in the work. Let me get a couple more. What else for cancer? All right. So you feel like you could work on this with them. You feel like you could work on a ten of pentacles with them. Stability, happy home life, you know higher level of commitment, possibly marriage, starting a family, moving in together. So I feel like you think that this is savable. You could work on this. All right, what else do you feel towards this person? What else does Cancer feel towards this person? Yeah, too many people involved, arguments. When I say too many people involved, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be relatives, anything like that. It could be, you know, children, anything. It's like passionate arguments or too many people, like, involved drama. And then we have magician. So are you trying to manifest... I mean, this could be like you, you're fighting for this connection. Maybe you're fighting for it. Can I get one more? I mean, Gigi. Sorry, my dog. I'm sneaking in. All right, one more, please, for cancer. One more for cancer, please. How they feel about this person. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. All right, they make you happy, but maybe you're feeling like it's not on solid ground. I feel like you want a reconciliation, higher level of commitment. There could be an age difference. I know, I think I said that already. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're trying to manifest a new stable beginning, but it's like a small, Gigi, please stop. Like you feel like you can work on it. So like, hey, let's start small so we can go big, you know, in the end. Let's, let's work on this. Let's, let's try to like pave some stability here so we can move forward. Okay, let's see. How does this person feel towards you? The Wheel of Fortune. They might feel like this is like something that's destined or like in divine timing or they want things to start moving forward. Look, now they have the Five of Wands. It could be like a an ego thing, like a battle of the egos here. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying like, 
sometimes, you know, relationships can get to that point where it's like, I, I don't want to say tit for tat or like one-upping each other. Not that kind. Like, it's like, um, well, maybe one-upping. Like, maybe there was, like, a falling out in the past, and it's like you tried to come back together. Hold on one second. Like, you tried to, like, mend it, and then it's like you, you couldn't forgive and forget, so it just kept, like, building and building, and now it's kind of like, like an ego pride thing. They could be feeling like you're breadcrumbing them. Or things aren't balanced. Or they want to balance things out. Tower. Look. Tower. So they could be feeling like, like maybe you're not stable. And I don't mean that like in a bad way. Like maybe you're just not ready to settle down. Like you're on shaky ground, you're not, you're not stable, but you see yourself as you are. Or like you want to work on the stability, you want to put in the effort to create the stability. Can I get one more for how they feel. How do they feel towards cancer? Here's that, that arguing. This could be internal. They could be battling in their head, overthinking stuff, or just not knowing which way to go. But this could also be, like we have Ten of Swords here, they could feel betrayed. Maybe you did have options. Maybe you weren't really committing. They see you as single. They see you as independent, single, attractive, um, abundant, like you can take care of yourself. Or maybe you told this person that you want to be single because you want to work on your own stability. Because there's too many people involved or there was too much arguing. So now they're feeling like betrayed. Because you... You wanted to walk away. You wanted to end this. You wanted to just be single and work on yourself, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Be following your intuition. All right, let's see. What are your hopes for the outcome? Cancer's hopes for the outcome. Um, you have free will, so this is just like what you're hoping for. Wheel of Fortune. So you're hoping things will start turning in your favor. Or maybe, you know, things will start happening in divine timing. Maybe, you know, you're doing a lot of um, meditating or self-healing working on yourself, focusing on your future and what it is that you really want, all right? <clears throat> Maybe you're hoping for an apology from this person to get that wheel moving. Yeah, look, you were you feel betrayed too. So you both feel it. And that's that thing like maybe you guys were like mirroring each other like with the ego thing and it's I hate the word ego because it's it sounds bad, but that's I'm not saying it in a negative bad way. I'm saying like a pride, standing up for yourself, um, looking at what it is that you really want. And I feel like this person, it's like a battle of like that going on, that like ego. It's not it's not like oh I'm better than you ego. It's like standing up for yourself type ego. Yeah, you may have had options. I felt that from the beginning. You had there was a lot of nights. Page of Swords. So you could be hoping for some communication. You have a lot of pages here too. There's not like kings and queens. I mean, emperor and then, was it the queen of swords? But you have knight, 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 page, page, page. Yeah, it's like Maybe you had options, right? And then maybe you tried to give it a go with this person. And it was like it just wouldn't go anywhere. This person may have had some control. Look, Knight of Pentacles. Can I have one more for the hopes for the outcome? 
You guys might be messaging each other a little bit. You're, you're hoping for victory and success. I don't know if it's with this person. Look. I feel like, yeah, you're, you might be taking a leap in a different direction. You might ignore this person flat out. Maybe this person had secrets. Page of Wands. So many pages. So many. Like all of them. On your side. It could just, like a lot, maybe you're... Maybe you're messaging a lot of people. Maybe you're talking to a lot of people. It doesn't necessarily mean in a romantic way. You could just be talking to a lot of people. Maybe about this situation or about how to get stability or grow. I mean, I don't see the devil on the table yet. So I can't really say like this is like a really, really like overbearing, controlling, narcissistic type energy. But I kind of am sensing that a little for some of you so it's really only very few um let me see what is this person's hopes for the outcome they want forward movement there you are feel like they want yeah they want to move towards you they may end up like bossing up towards you like trying to like take control of the situation they want to heal. You both have the, the three of swords. So you both feel brokenhearted. You both feel like betrayed, backstabbed. What else? Their hopes for the outcome. They want to heal. Yeah, Aquarius energy. They want forward movement and they want to heal this connection with you. I don't know if you want to. They want higher level of commitment. I mean, you could be married to them, possibly. There could be a marriage here. They want to communicate about options, possibly options that you have. They want communication about it. They want to know. Yeah, they want justice. They want truth, clarity about secrets. They want to end a cycle. want to end a cycle let's see is cancer going to i you i feel like you're going to ignore this person and take a leap in a different direction towards somebody else what's coming in for cancer who or what is coming in for cancer what is this three of swords is all over this reading the tower again five of wands again knight of cups again Page of Swords again. Wow. The Sun. Page of Wands. Four of Wands. Uh, all right. Don't come at me in the comments, Cross Watcher. Please. I'm just delivering the message. I'm just seeing, reading what I see. Cancer, um, you, I feel like you want to, you want to just be single. And I feel like you want to end any cycles. You want to heal yourself. You want to not have worries, not worry about other people. You just want to take care of yourself and worry about yourself. You want to build your own stability. You want to feel that like free, fun, flowing type energy. You, you, you want the sun here. You want that happiness. So I feel like you're trying to break free from this connection and just be single and focus on yourself. For some of you, I feel like there was so much hurt on both sides, who, whatever, whoever caused it, whatever caused it. I mean, look at this. It's here three times. And the tower, 
Tower's here twice. The Death card's here twice. Tower. The Five of Wands. Too many people, too many arguments. It's like you're trying to find that clarity or what to do. Or you're trying to find like that knight in shining armor, that romance, that love, you know? Let your friends help you heal family issues. It is safe for you to love. You got to free yourself, all right? And I feel like the angel of love is like trying to help you with this. Maybe you should do some meditation, all right, for your chakras, your heart specifically, or um, you can look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of videos for heart chakra meditations, cleansing, that kind of thing. All right, let's see. Compromise. Look for a sign a year from now. Perfect timing. Look for the signs. Compromise. There's those scales again, like balancing it out. This could be a marriage, okay? For some of you, this could be a marriage that maybe you're trying to move away from and this person's not agreeable to that for some of you, okay? Um, I feel like you, you just want to focus on yourself. You do feel a sense of loss here. There's that devil. There is that devil. It could be a toxic connection. Let go of control issues. Someone here is, has some kind of control. You just, you just want to be happy, I feel like. This person's trying to heal some stuff. All right, this per your person's trying to heal some stuff. Maybe stuff from childhood or something like that. They're trying to heal. But I feel like they might be keeping you kind of like stuck. Or they feel like this whole thing is like unfair. It's not justice. It's not justified. They don't understand it. Maybe they feel like you're sneaking off. You're doing something wrong. I don't know. Let's see. What would this person like to say to Cancer? This isn't the type of reading I had in mind for you guys. I really wanted to do a like happy love reading for you, but I feel like you just need to find that happiness. I feel like that's what's lacking here is you being happy. So you're taking that time to yourself. All right, let's see. Oh, there's a lot of messages here. All right, I let my ego get in our way. Ego. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. Mm-hmm. There's ego here. I still see your smiling face in my mind's eye. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. All right? This is your person for sure. I couldn't go against my family to be with you. So I'm saying there's too many people involved. Maybe the family like just didn't agree with the connection or the relationship. I'm in love with you and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a beautiful life with you. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Wow, Cancer, this is like heavy, heavy. I wanted it to be light. I'm sorry if you're resonating with this, I, you know, sorry. Um, our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. Yeah, there's too many people. Maybe it's just too many people made it toxic. Anyway, all right, let's see. What else for closing messages um, for cancer? If this does resonate, please like and subscribe and comment your name below for a Valentine's Day giveaway, all right? What else for cancer? Thank you. Coffee cup, all right, making and... Sorry, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. So maybe surround yourself with your friends, okay? Um, what else do we have? The Grim Reaper. Uh, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That's a message for you. 
boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues so maybe this kind of ended abruptly and there wasn't that closure all right um heal forgive all right within if you can't talk to this person um girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries yeah there's toxicity here all right, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Somebody could have been married or this was like maybe you were engaged on your way to get married or someone could have been in another connection, something like that. I felt a little bit of that for some of you. All right. All right, Cancer. Um, thanks so much. Until next time. Love and light. Take care.